An expert in sports science at the University of Gloucestershire is calling for a rethink of PE lessons in schools following a sharp rise in obesity during lockdown. Latest NHS figures show one in four 10 and 11 year olds is overweight. So could the daredevil street sport known as parkour be part of the answer to getting children fitter? Scott Ellis has been finding out. Parkour featured in BBC iDents 20 years ago, and since then, the urban sports come on leaps and bounds. And now, it's landed in primary schools. I actually thought the children might be uh, busy walking on buildings, jumping from one place to another, and this is, could be a health and safety issue. But no, it seems I'm quite wrong. It is, of course, a milder form of parkour, and these children love it. I like that we're having to like jump, like it's like jumping off buildings. It's really cool. I like it a lot. It's, it's very entertaining. These trainee teachers at the University of Gloucestershire will use parkour to change how PE is taught in schools. There's no right answer. There's always a different way of looking at a movement problem or getting over an obstacle. So that can work for lots of different types of children with lots of different uh, abilities and body shapes. The university says change is needed because in England, among pupils aged 10 and 11, more than a quarter are now overweight or obese. And that's up 4.5% on the previous year. They say the pandemic and a cut in school sport hours are to blame children who rely on the school for PE and their exercise have had their opportunities reduced and so they've had less time to exercise and even with schools going back the curriculum's being squeezed there's pressure more on the academic subjects and and PE is not being given what I think should be the priority. Parkour's just been introduced at this primary school and it's part of a new once a week 15 minute high intensity lesson. This helps get their physical fitness up and also helps with those coordination skills that maybe they've been missing whilst they've been sat at home. The government wants to halve childhood obesity by 2030, a ban on adverts for junk food after 9pm and a ban on junk food promotions are promised but are facing some criticism from MPs now that household budgets are being squeezed. Scott Ellis, BBC Points West.